as Jacken Boat Festival is nearly here, on Monday, 14th of June, I'm going to show you how we celebrate in both China and the UK, and the story behind it. My name's John Galt. I'm from Liverpool. This is um, Yorkshire Sharks. We're based in Bradford on the Leeds Liverpool Canal. I set the club up um, mainly as a community club that's in the heartland of what is uh, formerly part of a place that was the Industrial Revolution. This waterway itself is, what, 200, 300 years old. It's man-made. It was to transport goods from Leeds, which is 70 miles from the coastline, to a port in Liverpool. I was lucky enough to go on and represent Great Britain. Uh, we went from a nation that was not the greatest at Dragon Bolton to suddenly we were world champions within four years. And um, we did it by having a look at what other people were doing in the world of Dragon Bolton outside of England. And then um, trying to build on what they were doing and make and improve on it. As such, we were world champions in 1999. I won about seven international medals in total. I've been over to places like China, Hong Kong, Singapore, Australia, um, numerous places doing dragon boat. Now I coach in Europe, and I'm currently the Dutch one of the Dutch national team coaches. As part of what I also do in Dragon Boat is setting up new clubs and to allow people to get into the sport. Um, what I try to do is not only teach them to have fun in the activity, but also the whole cultural aspect of it, you know, so they understand the origins of Dragon Boat and its whole history behind it. Uh, we talk about the poet Yan and um, basically how Dragon Boat has become to and being a modern day sport. Over 2,000 years of history, is believed to have originated from commemorating the great poet and the politician Chu Yuan during the Warian State period. It is one of the four grandest traditional festivals celebrated in China, along with Chinese New Year, Mid Autumn Day, and the Qingming Festival. Chu Yuan, the best known legend in China, was a minister in his home state of Chu, who wrote a lot of romantic poems and proposed many reforms to show his care and devotion to his country. After the reform failed and he was exiled by the king for over 20 years, he chose to hold a giant rock to himself on the fifth day of the fifth lunar month in the Milo River, in the northeastern part of Hunan province. Rather than seeing his country invaded and conquered by the state of Qing, after he drowned himself, popular legend had it that villagers carried the dumplings in boats to the middle of the river and desperately tried to save him, but were unsuccessful. In order to keep fish and evil spirits away from his body, they beat the drums and splashed the water with the paddles. They threw rice into the water as a good offering to Chu Yuan and to distract the monsters, pests and the fish away from his body. The act of raising to search for his body in boats gradually become the cultural tradition of dragon boat races. And the race turned into a teen spot event around the world, like what we have. Clubs in the UK, we've got um, a mixed band of paddlers that come from right across the globe, as far afield as New Zealand, China, um, but predominantly we've got a lot of people from Europe, so lots of different languages spoken in this club. We also we have people who come in from, um, from India, from Bangladesh as well. Bangladesh has a, a sort of dragon boat, it's called a Nauka, which is a fishing vessel, so we coach them for their Nauka festivals, and we also have the the Yukama community, which is the Kerala um, dragon, well, it's not a dragon boat, it's a snake boat, which is not dissimilar to the ceremonial dragon boats that they use in China, where there's over a hundred paddlers on these boats and they go at some speed. Duan Wu Jie, Duan Wu Festival, is celebrated with the dragon boat races and the iconic festival food, Zongzi. 
which is sticky rice pudding. Here are my friends in China making zongzi for their family and friends by using these reed leaves, fold it like a comb first, fill the soaked sticky rice in, and wrap it, tie it, steam it for about 20 minutes, and it is ready to eat. My mum used to put dates, chestnuts, and marshmallows inside. You can be creative in making your own. It is similar to our rice pudding here. In the UK, I used to like to celebrate with my family and friends with a big meal on the day, drinking Huang wine and going to watch the dragon boat race when it was on, in Sauterre or Leeds outside the Armley Museum. But this year, there won't be race on. But I'm very lucky to be able to meet the enthusiastic Yorkshire Sharks and meet John, who sets up the club. I don't know less about Yorkshire Sharks, we have a very brand new club. Um, we're trying to open ourselves up to for the whole community, using this fabulous waterway, which was part of the Industrial Revolution, and we want to put Bradford back on the map. We also run the largest Dragonman Festival in the UK, um, just up the road from here, in a World Heritage Site on the River Air. Uh, we have 140 teams that come for three days. We have a youth festival that's attached to it, so for the youth, they're all allowed to come along and participate for free. And the rest of it, we raise money for local good causes. And we do a lot of things culturally for the arts and everything landside. And we try to celebrate everything that's unique about Bradford, West Yorkshire, and all the people that live in the district. <laughs> Happy Dragon Boat Festival!